All right. Welcome, everybody, to the Monday, August 26, 2024, Town of Conway Select Board Meeting. Call a meeting to order. First, uh, first item on the agenda is to approve the minutes from August 12th. I'll make a motion we approve the minutes from August 12th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Thank you very much. Um, second item on the agenda are the warrants, which I did look through earlier. Veronique, thank you again for getting me some answers on those warrants. Um, the agenda is to vote to approve the accounts payable warrant W25-06 in the amount of $86,207.89. The payroll warrant in the amount of $113,406.97. The payroll deduction warrant in the amount of $2,373.15. The, um, sorry, SAF. A special activities fund, student the special activity, activity. Yes, the special activity fund in the amount of $9,401.12. And I'm just looking through all these. I'm so sorry. Um, another uh, payroll deduction warrant in the amount of $176.61 and um, payroll warrant 25-05C in the amount of $928.25. Um, I um, move to warrants as read. I will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. Um, next on the agenda, meetings attended by select board members. Erica or Elaine? Uh, no, not in the last, no. <laughs> Quiet summer. Um, I had an interview with um, Ron at the highway department for a new CDL driver, which we'll discuss later. I'm just noticing Jan is in the room. Jan's in the room. Uh, mm -hmm. What is Jan there for so we can skip to that so she's not waiting on us? I'm so sorry, I couldn't hear. Uh, it's for it's about the pickleball courts, and Ron would like an agreement like you have for the other extra work he does. Oh, right, right, okay. Um, I think I printed that out. One second. Erica, do you have that printed out in front of you? Yeah. Do you want me to read it? If you don't mind. Yeah. Um, the Conway Select Board hereby agrees to compensate Ronald Sweet, Highway Superintendent, for the site work to be performed above and beyond normal working hours during the construction of the new pickleball courts to be located off Fournier Road. Highway staff members will also be paid overtime for any work they perform on this project outside of normal working hours. Total departmental labor compensation for the project may not exceed the budgeted subtotal of $10,500. All hours will be paid bi-weekly. The funds for this work will come from the Community Preservation Account approved at Annual Town Meeting, Article 27A, on June 1st, 2024. Okay, and this will be a motion to vote for Ron Sweets and the highway payment for work at the pickleball court. Um, obviously to not exceed what the, the, uh, amount we had all discussed before is the operative sentence there. So I'll make a motion to approve. Can I just ask one question? This is $10,500 for Ron and his staff. That's the total labor, yeah. not just, okay. All right. I'll second that motion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. I'll find the one here. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's already begun. It has to keep you updated. He's he started uh, removing the topsoil, so the area is kind of uh, staked out, marked out. I spoke with the um, the company that I'm leaning towards for the fencing and netting and painting. Uh, of course, I still have to get the three final quotes, and those should be coming in in the next couple weeks. We're trying to get it done before the snow flies. We'll see what happens because once the asphalt is laid, we need 21 days for it to cure before you can paint. So mm -hmm. it's uh, weather contingent. But they tell me uh, once the price is locked in, 
for the fall if we've signed a contract with the, the company who will do the ex, extra work uh, they'll guarantee that for the spring so okay. it's looking like it's moving right along cool yeah no, we're, we're hoping to have it like i said before the snow flies but it'll depend on the weather and how much ron can get done you know um as he yeah. sees yeah. time available that's awesome yeah Great. Well, we hardly have snow anymore, so maybe we won't have winter. Yeah, it's going to be a mild winter. It's actually more about the temperatures, yeah. too. You can't paint when it gets too cold and has to be dry, and there's all yeah. kinds of yeah. conditions that have to be met. And I actually uh, made a pickleball court at home, and it takes multiple covers of paint. So it's, it's a real... Um, time-consuming project cool who well, um who are you looking at who are you vermont tennis court are you surfacing your home? Oh, yeah. uh, that that's my favorable vendor but again i gotta get the three quotes yeah. and make sure that that's have you ever seen life. the south athlete courts mm -hmm. they look nice they do. yeah a lot of nice courts. i don't know if we did those but i drive by them all the time uh, they do, the Vermont company does uh, most of the quotes around. Yeah. They travel all over the cool. Yeah. And now that school's back, there's no issues, right, with the work that's being going to be done there and school in session? Uh, none have come up yet. Okay. Uh, so, you know, where, where it is out back, the school is already used to some work from the highway garage. So... Where, where the courts are going to be is not going to change anything that they already deal with. There's a nice a stone wall to block the noise and sight of any construction that happens there. And uh, they didn't seem to be concerned with it. Great. And they don't have to drive in through the school. They go by the highway department and come down. No, they'll have to drive oh, in through the school. Oh, they're going to slow. Yeah. Well, Ron goes through the highway right. department, yeah. so all the site work will happen, you know, without passing by the school. Right. But when the painters and fencers come, they'll they'll have to come. I don't know; it's actually unclear to me. I shouldn't say that. <laughs> Possible they can go around the back way, but the idea is that all the traffic is going to come through the school because it's um, a little risky to pass through the highway. Oh, once they're playing, yeah, play. yeah, yeah. I just yeah. meant during construction. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. I don't know exactly where to talk to Ron about that. Very exciting. Yeah. 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 There's people playing out there now, even though it's raining. I know. I didn't think they would. I, I was going to play from five to six. I was but... too. <laughs> I decided five not to. Five to five and then I saw people there. Darn it. Oh, well. We land. Yeah. Start. All right. Thank Thanks, Paul. Thank you, Appreciate it. Welcome. Have a good night, everyone. Again, we still have another hour. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can go change that. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right. Next on the agenda is open up for public comment. I do not see anybody else on. Um, no unfinished business, so we'll move on to new business. Uh, first item on the agenda for new business is to the vote to appoint Roy Cohen as the finance committee rep for our capital improvements uh, committee for the term ending in uh, June 30th of 2027. I move to appoint Roe Cohen as finance committee rep to capital improvements. I will second. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Aye. Um, next is on the agenda is to discuss and vote on the skills testing for specified town positions to be added to the personnel policy. So um, hopefully everybody has this. In my copy, I had highlighted two two places in here. Mm -hmm. um, in the first paragraph, three days, and the second, right after that, after on the job paid. So those two words mm -hmm. were highlighted. Just wanted to point that out for when we get there. Um, it's you know it's up to you guys if you are willing to. Um, institute this policy now rather than go through the personnel committee. The only reason I'm bringing it forward now is because we're going to be hopefully hiring a number of people in the highway department and this 
um, I feel is a pretty important sort of um, the, the ability to, to test skills, I think, is mm -hmm. important, in, especially in hiring um, something like a new CDL driver. So this is all like it's like they may be required to submit to an exam to an examination. Um, is this mm -hmm. are, are we going to make it so that for the highway department they must? I mean, or is it just always going to be like kind of? It's it's a possibility that you may have to, and then yes. I think for that job, everybody should. Have However, to. I will say that one of the things, because this all went through town council, one okay. of the things that she was very clear about is you cannot do this selectively. If you do it for one highway applicant, you do it for them all. Okay. And so, and I agree. Um, so do it for them all. That yeah. right. The the question would be whether or not um, you know the fire department or police department or other departments or, or transfer whatever yeah. wish to have skills testing. This is the most obvious one. Mm -hmm. um, so that could be something that's put in there. Or I mean, can we start there and see what we think about the other departments at some point? But I mean, I mean, I guess if we just leave it as like kind of generic, like you may, and then kind of unofficially, we can just always. You know, require that of the highway department. Um, and then my other question, although since it's been run through Donna, um, I assume that like if they're not like our insurance is going to cover them, right? I mean, if they're they're not technically employees, they're doing they're they're doing work for the town, but we haven't actually hired them. Like, is that who pays for the physical? Um, oh, we always pay for the physical. Yeah. That's, well, no, but I'm just more concerned, like, like if something say, happens if, to the if, truck if a test and someone, driving. you know, like, they're lifting right. a 25 pound right. box and they drop it on their foot and they break their foot, like, mm -hmm. does our, you know, like, right. workers' compensation cover? Yeah, yes. Um, Very good point. Okay. Where is there a place we send them? Is that a fur car thing? That no, this would be in house. So, in other words, for highway, it would be Ron taking them out in the truck and actually having them drive. It does yeah. say on here all public safety positions. So that okay. would include, yeah. yeah. Although it does, it says May, so it's not. All right, that required. Yeah, may be required. Okay. And for positions that do well, require the pre-employment pre physical, which, which some positions are, we already do require. We already right? do that, right? Actually, so, oh, we do. Okay, okay that's all yeah. fun. Okay, yeah, and we do the drug testing. So okay, so we do that yeah. already. Yes. Why does it say a town designated position? I mean, because we don't. We do send. We, we send them to. to a specific, okay, correct. All right. Yes. Um. So, um. But I, I do want to double check about the workers' comp because that's a very good point. Um, so it also sh also should be like a checklist of the skills, so it's not a random. That's what I've asked Ron to put together. Okay. Is these are the skills you are looking for for these positions, right. and to go out. So anybody in the right. job goes through the same correct thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I agree. So in other words, seeing how they back up, seeing how they, you know, right, how they, all that. And stuff, right? I, whatever it is, Ron feels is appropriate to the right. vehicles. There's so probably a template out there. Yeah. So we're, while we're waiting on the liability question, can we send this document to the personnel committee? Well, they're not going to be meeting for another month, so um, I mean, we can. I've actually I've sent it to them so that they've seen that we're okay. Working. Do you feel like we need to have this approved by the personnel committee before we? The or no, just... no, I don't think so. Okay. But um, since I wasn't in last week, I do want to check with the workers' comp because, and then I also want to just look at this again and make sure that it all makes sense. Again, this came from town council, but I highlighted three days in paid testing because I don't think three days. I don't think we need three days. I was just going to take that out. Submit to on the job paid testing. Right. I feel like Ron's going to know within yeah. an hour. <laughs> okay, so we can just table this vote until. Yeah, I think, I, I think we have to because we need to know about the coverage. Yeah, that I mean, my, I don't want to assume anything. Yeah. <laughs> so, okay. Great. Thank you, Erica. Good point. Yeah, we'll put it back on for the ninth. My father was an insurance investigator. <laughs> <laughs>
Andy. He investigated workers' compensation claims. And in the meantime, I will also send it again to personnel and let them know that this is will be coming up for a vote with the answer to that question on the ninth. If okay. they feel like meeting in the meantime, we want to weigh in. Um, Got it. Thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, next in new business is the um, discussion and vote on Conway being the lead town on technical assistance grant for repair cafes. And I got to say, so I was, I, sometimes we watch um, BritBox and there's a show on there where it's basically like house hunters. And in one of the episodes, they had a repair cafe in this one town and it was the biggest thing in this town and people absolutely loved it and to actually see it being worked on there and how they were trying to reduce waste by not just one use throwing things away once they once one part breaks was really great to see and it reminded me of veronique and how she's been pushing this for so long i so, don't think i repair cafe is so it's so where oh go ahead <laughs> No, you, you do the brick box thing. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we have people in our community that are very good at repairing either things that have motors or electronics or even sewing um, clothes and stuff like that. So what happens is you can select a day, a date to have a repair cafe where people can bring in items and, um, you know, these volunteer workers can help repair those items on the brit box show they actually had people who were licensed and charged a very small amount it was free up to a half an hour and anything after a half an hour of working on it was a small charge to keep it going but i believe we were just looking at just a, a free cafe right well so the idea behind this particular part um, because as I've mentioned before, I just literally don't have the time right now to devote to this that I'd like to. Mm -hmm. So if, um, and so I got these people together and it kind of mushroomed and all these people who work on this in the, in this area, in part because I was dealing with mass in motion. And I think this is a great way to get seniors involved in things and also have multi-generally, multi-generational, um, community. So We've had a couple of meetings and the Franklin County Solid Waste Management District, Jan and Amy, agreed to that they would be the lead organization to kind of house this. Okay. And they'll come up with, um, there'll, there'll be two, two, two sort of paths. One will be like a toolkit for towns like Conway. Mm -hmm. Here's your checklist of things to do and we've got extra extension cords or whatever stuff you need for physically setting things up in your town. And the other one will be because the technical school is on board with this and they've offered their space. Oh, cool. So we could do both depending. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm very excited about this and I kind of pushed for us to be one of the first ones since this was my idea. <laughs> cool. But the reason for this is <clears throat> the municipal assistance coordinators that what I used to be, towns can apply for up to, I'm going to say it's 80 hours. Might be 60, I don't remember anymore, of time from the coordinator to help facilitate this. Okay. Now, the solid waste district can apply for these grants themselves. So because this was, you know, our idea, they were like, Conway, do you mind being the lead town? All it basically means is I signed the paperwork. Cool. But Susan White will be doing all the work and working with Jan and Amy. Okay. And you know, they're all just such a crackerjack team that I'm really excited. That's awesome. <laughs> that sounds like a win-win. Yeah. Yep. So that's really all it is, is just cool. permission from you all to put this forward under Conway as the lead town, but it'll really be everybody else but me doing the work. Yeah, very exciting. <laughs> I'll make a motion to be for Conway to be the lead town in Repair Cafe. Um, yeah, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous. All right. Congrats, Veronique. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool. All right, next in new business is a vote uh, to hire Raymond Hillock as a highway department uh, CDL driver, commercial driver, license driver. Um, like I said earlier, I interviewed him with Ron last week. Very nice guy. He's had his CDL, I believe, for seven plus years. Um, 
Uh, the only thing that came up to me is that he currently lives in New Hampshire. He's got about a 45 minute commute, but he is looking to move him and his family nearby, which would be great, especially when snow starts. Um, but he's also a very good mechanic. And that is a major plus <laughs> for the highway department. Definitely. Well, and I, I said to Veronique earlier, if he, if he worked at Lashways, um, that's like in Williamsburg. So that's an even farther commute. Yeah. <laughs> From Hinsdale, so. Right. Right. So I liked him. I thought he'd be a great fit. So I'll, I'll make a motion to vote to hire uh, Raymond Hillock as a Iowa Department CDL driver. No, second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Be great More help for Ron. Yes. Yeah, he needs it right now for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, what? welcome, Raymond. Yeah. We don't have the starting date yet, but he'll be doing his physical exam um, hopefully this week. And then, yeah, and then he'll let Ron know when he can start. Excellent. Definitely be a huge help. Um, items not anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting. Don't have those. Uh, town admin updates. Veronique. Not a whole lot. <laughs> Just since yeah. I was on vacation for, yeah. <laughs> for one of the weeks. Um, so, but I did want to let you all know that I have set up a meeting with Francisca Hemming as sort of our uh, first introductory conversation about the vote that was taken at, through the MVP grant that identified widening the 116 bridge as the number one priority. Um, obviously, if that even you know happens with DOT, it's going to be a long process. So I just wanted to sit down with Director Hemming and say, all right, what what are the next steps? What do we need to do? What do you need from us? Yeah, um, yeah. so that'll be September 4th, I think it is. Um, and I, you know, had a couple of meetings with people about different issues in town. I spent most of the time trying to organize paperwork and filing that I've been meaning to do for three years. And I still have some more, but it's really getting there. That feels good. <laughs> <laughs> it's brilliant. I actually know where things are. Everybody wants some unused cassette tape. Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> stuff in there. I have a few. <laughs> um, at the at the last meeting, we talked about my idea about doing a folder, which I understand why nobody wants to mail that out. So what I thought I understood or will do is I just got some hanging file folders for the guys um, at the transfer station, and I'm just going to label it by each of the different recycling this, that, and the other. So when somebody asks, they can just pull a sheet and give it to them. Mm -hmm. So so we could also just print like a if, like if you just had all of that as a PDF that we put on the town website, we could just do like a QR code so people could like if whether they wanted the because there is reception at the I mean I I get cell service at the dump, so if we just you know printed like a big QR code so people could just snap a picture of that on their phones, okay, and then they could you know, read it at their leisure and not have to print. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of it's already on the website, but I like the idea of the QR yeah. code and it just being together. It's just all in one place. Yeah, right there. Yeah, great. Um, Besides, I haven't done QR code yet, so I need one. Um, <laughs> excellent. <laughs> Uh, okay, so there was the RFP. There was only one bidder for the assessors today, so we'll see um, what happens with that. Um, I'll be going to the FERC Hog at 2 o'clock on Friday for the opening of the public safety building bids, which I'm very excited about. Um, and then next week, public buildings will meet as well to review and then per, um, vote on a recommendation to present to you all for your meeting on the 9th. So yeah, I'll try to be there again for that one, if you don't mind. I'm sorry? I'll try to be there again for that one, oh, if you don't mind. Of course. No, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, and then the last is that the IT working group is going to get together and just talk about different vendors and also just a list of what, you know, employees' priorities are for what they want to see. And then no matter what, we're going to be having a ticketing system because all the companies that I've talked to, you know, as soon as something comes in, it automatically, for their own system, yeah. it goes into yeah. a ticketing system, which will just make it easier for knowing yeah. things are. Right. Yeah. So, and that's it. 
Uh, what about the, the roads in Conway State Forest? Oh, the chop, sorry, yeah. So it's still a bit of a conundrum, but the last I heard from DCR was that um, they have assumed that the roads are discontinued and thus belong to DCR, but we don't have any documentation. That's always the problem with discontinued roads. <laughs> and they said it was probably done in the 20s or 30s. So, and again, that's one of my long-term projects. So that's one of the reasons I want to have town meeting minutes and select board minutes. We have roads all over. All scanned and put in a searchable PDF so that we could look up something like and, discontinued roads. And I've had some good fights about those that. <laughs> In the past, yeah, discontinued about roads discontinued roads. roads. Yeah, that's yeah. Always. <laughs> I mean, I reached out to Fertha to Bob Dean, and I got some good information, but it's it's not listed on the county roads as discontinued. So it's mm -hmm. kind of like it would take a lot of research. So it's a to state out. forest. Yeah, but that's so the DCR is the managing person of a state forest. Yes. So the state yes. the state does not own the roads. Well. You know, that's it, that's an interesting point. I mean, if they're discontinued, I assume the state does own the roads right. because DCR, you know, otherwise DCR wouldn't be in charge of them. And somebody had to give them, you know, there was a ton of logging done in there. Yeah. And somebody yeah. had to give them the permission to do that. And the roads, I would have thought, would have had come into play. Well, and Conway gave Powell's permission for some of the logging that happened about 10 years ago. Because okay. they fixed drainage ditches mm -hmm. and wetlands and all sorts of yeah. stuff to get their equipment in and out of there. Right. Right. So in all honesty, it still seems like a bit of a murky area, but the whole crux of this was dealing with the culverts that are failing. Mm -hmm. So the question in my mind really comes down to, well, who owns the culverts and who's responsible for right. fixing the culverts? Right. So... So have you, have you ever been up Old Cricket Hill Road, mm -hmm. past the dump? Yeah, I mean, yeah, once. <laughs> <laughs> so that road goes like right yeah. through a property, but it used to be a town road. So do you know who owns that property? Mm, uh, I know what you're talking about. So it used to be an old man that had a horse, and yeah. he had to go up and help him with the horse at some yeah. point, but I, I think they've moved on. But used to go, so their barn was on one side, their house was the other, yeah. just like um, Lesser. Mm -hmm. You know, you you can drive by his house and out to this gorgeous view of UMass. Um, and that's. And you drive straight down. Like, yeah, right. Can, that's uh, that's that like to, to the top of the Mount Astor Loop. Yeah. It goes, but it goes right through his yard. Like, so most people stop when they think they're going through his yard, but. Some of us keep going because <laughs> you can't. Because you can't. <laughs> um, but if those are those, that question really does need to be answered. You know, it's yeah. I mean, both DCR and town council kind of, you know, were like it's probably DCR. I mean, DCR said pretty much outright in their email, yeah, DCR owns them. Interesting. So, which means they're responsible for their maintenance. Yes. <laughs> well, because the other, the old Cricket Hill one. That used to be a road that went all the way through up to Holt. But that's the beaver have flooded that for years now. So now it's more of a pond than a road. And the other issue, of course, is that we do have to maintain access to the public cemetery. So that's on us as well. So, you know. That's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we, yeah. So interesting. Uh, it's, it's a to be continued. <laughs> yeah. Ongoing discussion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I skipped over that one. <laughs> okay, thanks, Veronique. Um, moving how on. Long, how, oh, long is our, how long is our IT person staying on the job? Roy? Roy? Yes. No. Oh, okay. And I want to oh, I thought the potential vendors were to replace him. Well, eventually, yes. But okay. We're looking at probably for. Um, uh, next year's budget. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's just kind of starting the process because yes. things take a while. Yeah, I just didn't know the timeline. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it could be sooner if the town decides to move sooner. But does he have his own business or something? Oh yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Alrighty. 
Okay, next on the agenda, select board member comments or concerns. Uh, as I suggested, I would like us to be as paperless as possible. Uh, if we could all bring devices, if that's not too much of a burden no. to look at all this paperwork. I mean, most of us are able to look at it ahead of time. So we don't really need the physical paper and save the trees. Save the trees. I agree. I mean, maybe keep up, maybe Adam, if you can bring a copy, you know, so if somebody forgets their device or something, yeah. they can touch it. I think yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah. Cool. Um, and I just had a question about, I know we had an email from a, a resident who lived in town, moved out of town, still has a property in town where they have their business or, anyway, they, they, they were concerned about the fact that only residents can get dump stickers. And shortly after that, I had someone, well, it wasn't shortly after, it was recently actually, someone else like mentioned to me that that was a really lousy idea. Um, and so my, my question is just whether, did, did did we ever respond to that resident about? I did call her. Okay. Last All right. Week. Okay. So that was my. Um, and then the other, um, the other person that I spoke to, I was like, we just that's we made that rule. <laughs> and, and, uh, it's a rule. It's got to be yeah. followed. And I yeah, offered I some alternative ideas to help out. And it, for her, it was more about stating she didn't think it was right. Um, so if you don't have a resident, you can't have a dump sticker. Right. So, so, yes, so, right. so if, if you have a property here, but you don't live here and your car's not registered here, you don't live here. So, I mean, I think this, this, the, 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 well, the, the other person I spoke to, like they have a dump sticker, I think in, can't remember, I want to say Amherst. I'm like, well, take your stuff to Amherst. Amherst. <laughs> well, and I think when this was being discussed, that was part of the rationale is that if it's a piece of land, where's the trash coming from? Right. right. And, and and if it's a business, because that was the other thing, I think that was the, the concern if it was a business, we felt that if you're a business, you're generating that much trash, then you should have a dumpster, you know. Like our other businesses. Oh, Correct. Right, exactly. So, um, but and I that's, the, to that's what I said on the call too. Yeah. And okay. I was that's trying to, right. That that person got responded to. So yep. that was it. All right. Um, you did a site visit with Ron about the reed spread culvert issues? Oh, yes. <clears throat> Sorry, it's done that one too. Yes, yeah, so um, I think the next step, so that's yes. the person right past reed spread. Correct. With the wisteria. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. So um, there were two questions that, that she had. One was the culvert that goes underneath the bridge it goes in the direction, obviously, because it goes perpendicular to the bridge of her property. Because it's a river. <laughs> well, it's it's the culvert under that's, you know, funneling the water and it, the pipe goes towards her. So um, we wanted to, we're, we're, Ron's talking about some way that we can funnel it to go down mm -hmm. to the river instead of towards her property. And then the other question was erosion on the bank. Um, so, but we're not sure. Ron knows that there's a 50 foot right of way mm -hmm. for the bridge there, mm -hmm. and that most of it goes towards her property, but we don't know the actual boundaries. Mm -hmm. So, he actually has to have some other survey work done. So, we're going to include that and have the survey and know, then know exactly what is town property. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, That's good to know. And then move forward from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But we've I'm, offered to go back out again and... and oh, that's a great you know, response. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it may not give her the answer she wants, but it's at least it's a yeah. great response. And that river is definitely changing its force every day, so... Right. And that's I don't know, man made. I think that's nature made. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because yeah. so. the bridge was redone in 2004, so that's 20 years ago. Yeah. And it's only been very recently that it started pounding that side of a river. Right. Yeah. So. Yeah. So so we will you know we'll move forward with that as soon as we have the results of the survey. I mean we've offered to go out again anyway to have a discussion. I haven't heard back, but certainly once we get the survey, that's great. Let her know what what the results were and go back out again. Um. 
It seems that festival parking is still an issue. Yes, That's a lot of expense. Well, I mean, like three hundred dollars for the just to apply for a, for the visa checklist. Yes. Yeah, three hundred dollars plus they're going to have to transport people from out of there every day. Oh, that day. So they're going to have yeah have a van or something to yeah. Parts. yeah. So, um, yes, so I just did email out the response I'd gotten while I was on vacation, so mm -hmm. hopefully we'll hear back this week. And, you know, I'm happy to do anything and everything I can to move it forward. It seems to me it should probably, because there's still the 501c3, they should be the ones applying for it, but yeah. I can certainly do everything I can to walk people through it, because I've done a couple of them now. Oh, oh wow, okay. <laughs> Yeah, and there were some questions I didn't have the answer to, like how many cars and if it's all wet, what, how are you going to keep gas and oil from getting to the river and things like that. So yeah, although they're parking, like I mean, they're not going to be near the river. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, next on the agenda is mail. No mail. No announcements. Our next meeting is going to be September 9th. I will be there. <laughs> Hopefully. So, um, anything else? Anyone? I'm um, just that Jan will be there on the 9th as well to discuss the bulky waste. Oh, great. Yeah. So, All right. So, we can revisit that issue. Yes, definitely need to. Great. Um, well, there's the no. Shed. Is town mall opening again anytime soon, or are we still on hold? We're still on hold, yeah. My my sense, because they usually closed in November anyway, is that we're not going to have enough people volunteering between now and then to reopen it Yeah. Um, until next April. So, you know, which is, is a big shame. I mean, I, I'm a huge shop shop performer, yeah, so it's very... They've but, been asking, Tim said they've been asking, well, people have been yeah, saying, why yeah. is this closed? He said, well, we need volunteers, and everybody says, oh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nobody wants I want to browse, but I don't want to volunteer. <laughs> wants right. Yeah. Yeah. And, of course, it's it may, um, it's one of the jobs we've potentially listed for the senior veteran yeah. tax work mm -hmm. on. So, right. you know, if we could just get two people for that to to cover that would be wonderful. But. Yeah. Do you remember when Rosie worked at the dump? Yes. We <laughs> need Rosie in that shed, man. Say, why, why we... uh, I wish she, she was still alive. No. No, she no, passed away a couple years ago. Yeah. Oh my God, was she a pistol. She would take, there would be nothing inappropriate left in that shed yeah, if she was managing that. She was, yeah, she was there was there. nothing inappropriate anywhere at the dump. <laughs> no. <laughs> And her husband was always like so nice and kind, and he probably let people, yeah, just she put that. Around that. Put that camp contaminated yeah. waste over there, but not on Rosie's watch, man. Oh my God, she was great. Great, such a great personality. Okay, um, I move to adjourn. All second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Thank you all.